This is part 1 of my Uncharted 3 treasure guide covering chapters 1 and 2. There will be spoilers, you have been warned. But there are only two treasures in chapter 1 and both are very easy to get. After finishing the brawl, head over to the fruit machine by the pub's front door to collect the antique boxing medallion. You will also collect the first treasure trophy for your efforts. Well done you. Then, simply walk behind the bar to find the Brass Vesta case. There are seven treasures in Chapter 2. As soon as you enter the museum, you will see a row of four cannons. Search the third to find the emerald and diamond ring. Look at the salt on that lady's face. I bet she's wishing she had the balls to steal that ring. Before making your way up the staircase, take a moment to explore the darkened archway under the bells. You'll find the treasures hidden behind a potted plant. Grab yourself the antique coin purse. Get up afuera! After being chucked out of the museum like the dirty little street urchin you are, walk towards the blue car. You'll find the antique Colombian soup label by a doorway. Don't mind if I do. It was rotten anyway. After eating the rotten fruit, continue following Sully. You'll pass a blue van that seems to be filled with shattered dreams and flyers. Keep walking until you see a blue stool on the right hand side of the street. The pottery chimu vessel is amongst the red lidded jars. Where is he going? You know, the way it's just sitting there on that market stool almost makes it look like it's waiting to be stolen. Right, Drake? Instead of following Sully into the ominous meat room, take a left and stick to the left hand side of the street until you come to a narrow set of stairs. The ancient Chupacuero figure is sat atop this dead end. And you've just bagged yourself a fat-headed little red man. Just what I've always wanted. <sighs> Once you've seen Sully leave the key cutters, swing over to the balcony and walk to the end, where you'll find yet another potted plant and a shamanistic jaguar head. I've never actually seen a jaguar head in real life before, and I seriously doubt whoever made that has either. I did actually see one in Tomb Raider Underworld, and it didn't look like that. Once Drake the Voyeur is done oogling Marlow, instead of climbing down the hotel sign, climb up it and collect the antique Colombian table knife. Join me next time for part two of my Uncharted 3 treasure guide. You okay in there? You hurt? Just my pride. They're gonna need a plunger.